Hi there. In this video we are going to be taking a look at this Top Move Traveler Anti-Theft Backpack. I bought it from Lidl because my backpack was quite old and simply beat up all over. And this seemed to fit the, the size criteria and it looked kind of decent. I checked a bit online and many people were saying that this is somewhat a copy of a much more expensive uh, backpack and has the same features as that one. So why not give it a try? So let's get to it. Number one feature cut resistant material. So in theory somebody cannot simply cut this while it's on your back and get out what uh, they want to steal from you without you knowing it. That shouldn't be possible with it. It has an external USB charging port which is voila down in here and we will see exactly where it goes and where you put the the, the charging brick uh, or uh, power bank itself in, here, in this thing somewhere. Reflective elements, those I honestly don't really like. It's basically just a bit of paint. I, I prefer things that are, are uh, directly reflective by themselves and they are sewn on, on, a, on the backpack. This, the backpack, sorry. This, I don't know how long it will last in here. Uh, and maybe on this material it will last, but I'm a bit uh, afraid on this material because from the get-go I seem to have a few areas where it's not perfect. Hopefully it will last, but who knows. Even these ones are still painted on, as you can see. Anyway, there's that. Nothing that I can do about it. If they remain there, it's good. If not, once again... Uh, nothing that I can do and yes obviously you can ask me in the comments over the uh, the time if this thing is still okay or not uh, I hate loose strands on on a on anything that I buy new I just cut them I know it's a, an extra step and increases costs but it's like you you basically bought a really cheap thing that somebody just put together and thrown it in in the to sell bin anyway whatever a laptop 15.6 inch maximum that's good enough for what I need and a tablet of uh, 10 inches that's about that probably much more to be seen here but I'm not going to to go too much into detail let's see maybe it's important so you can see before buying this thing so uh, all the zippers are concealed which is nice so again it's the anti-theft part somebody cannot just come up to you and open the zipper from the back it, they would need to put their hands between this and your back to reach uh, the zipper itself so yeah that makes it uh, a bit safer i like this thing it's quite uh, strong and thick so this is nice you can see it there so it's uh, attached to the straps not uh, the backpack itself uh, what else? Breathable back with padding. Yep, I agree. Hidden compartments all over. Yep, I agree. They are here. Not really sure what this is for, but I'm not that into backpacks. I just use whatever I get my hands on. Reflective elements, yep, we know about those. Adjustable shoulder straps, they should be adjustable. Hey, it's a suitcase strap, that one right there in the middle. Meh, that kind of makes sense. And the uh, USB charging port. Now let's see inside of it. It has a compartment for RFID blocking. That's cool, I like that. You can see now we found the compartment for the power bank right there close to the output. Makes sense again. Pockets and zipped compartments, lots of them. That's pretty good for small stuff to find them easy. 
and the tablet compartment and the laptop compartment are in there. As you can see <laughs> for this one, the flap that actually looks smaller is the back flap because all of this comes on top of the flap that stays on your back. So it's a bit of a weird construction, but this is how they could make it a bit uh, more theft resistant. And you can see how you use that strap that I had no clue about. That's nice. The dimensions, <clears throat> sorry about that, if you need them. And the maximum load that it can carry, I think I'm good with 8 kilos. I, I don't want use a small backpack more than that. Uh, adjustable opening angles. Okay, ish. Didn't know about this. Okay. And from now on, just uh, I'm going to give you just a quick overview, and you can pause wherever you want to read whatever you need. And I think, honestly, that's about it. So let's uh, open this thing up and see how it looks. The zipper itself, for me, I like the, this thing is quite big, so it's easy to grab onto it and open it. And seems to be moving fairly okay, so I don't see any problems with that. Seems to be good quality. I don't know if this is in any way, shape or form uh, waterproof, but I presume it's not from seeing this material I don't think it's uh, waterproof and it obviously doesn't say that anywhere so I wouldn't bet on waterproofing at all standard little three year warranty cool ah okay so here are the opening angles this I think it's the first one and uh, you presumably can adjust it by opening this thing up and letting it uh, open more if you need to but for my use this is perfectly fine how much it opens up various straps presumably this one is for the laptop quite cool and the other one for the tablet and we have a huge instructions manual that gets into much more detail for the things that we already read uh, I think that was about all the details that we got in this manual. Okay, I expected much more details, didn't got, get much more details. Anyway, there's that. Does it have a sort of zip lock? That okay ish. Do we have oh yeah we do have ha huh. okay that's actually cool so these things are on uh, some kind of elastic and it uh, it keeps them closed that's cool ha huh. nice nice keep them closed and, and tucked in there so they don't bother you but obviously you open this uh, and get them out. Can we see that elastic somehow? Yep, we can barely see it there. That's the elastic itself. Anyway, overall, seems good to me. Again, hate the loose strands. I will cut them myself. Nothing to do about it. What I kind of don't like, but I still got this thing. My wife was asking me, but why did you got it if you saw that from the start? I hope it's just, I don't know, a small thing that will not get bad. You can see this mark right here. This mark was made simply by having more of these things, one on top of the other. So this particular material seems to be getting marks from pressure being put onto it. Now, what I hope that these are just superficial and it will basically get covered with them and it will be just a diffuse marked 
uh, marks pattern it will not be as shiny anymore but they will not get too deep in uh, in it because if they get too deep and you have only scratches all over this thing that's going going to be really 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 annoying but honestly that's a scratch so this is a rubbery type of material on top and it's scratched whatever you want to call it this is a scratch so this will get scratched for sure this is not rubbery it's not like this one my my fingernail is gripping in this one it's not gripping in this ah <sighs> yeah so this plus this not a fan of this feels really really strong so if this whole thing was made of this material bonus from my side but anyway i'm going to to continue using this actually start using it and obviously continue using it after i start <clears throat> if it makes sense and uh, hopefully towards the, the end of this video i will give you more feedback on how it fares over time and even then even more i will use it and you can ask me in the comments if it's worth buying or not it was about 30 lei how much is that in dollars seven dollars eight oh no 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 scratch that no no my bad i was thinking on another product that i bought yesterday no this was 120 lei so basically that's 30 35 dollars something like that 30 dollars probably or not even 30 25 dollars somewhere around that hopefully it's worth that money because if this breaks really fast it's worth no money so let me get the laptop in this thing and uh, get to work and hope for the best and we'll get back to you for the moment just want to present my use scenario so you know how i will daily use it that's the most part of the things that i will uh, put in it 15.6 inch hp work laptop it's a bit on the bigger side of what fits in this uh, headphone headphones mouse in the tablet pocket also this has uh, straps but obviously they're not being used for this because no need charger in this a power bank and my usb type c cable that will go from this to my phone when i need it this is what you actually plug into the power bank in, it's basically the pass through for this and it was tuck, uh, tucked away in here and i will tuck it away again there until i need it i don't want to let it plugged in into the power bank and in here for the moment i have some uh, medicine uh, that i need to use daily sadly uh, and that's about that and as you can see i opened it up fully disconnected it uh, and i could connect it back and see and let's close it for the moment and see how this thing looks closed okay with a 15.6 uh, inch laptop you struggle a bit to put the corners of the laptop uh, under the zipper probably this will loosen up in time something else that i don't like too much when this is not really full uh, this almost tend to get in the way the part that actually holds it when you don't want to open it up fully but doesn't seem to be cut catching on them so not a big issue but yeah 15.6 is it's a bit on the large side for this closed and obviously if you want or need to this can be locked in place for the moment looking good and yes you can see the laptop poking out of it that's mm, not quite nice but anyway there's that let me adjust it and uh, adjust it and start using it to adjust it it's like any other thing you simply uh, pull this to as much as you need to and lock it in place and there's that just wanted to mention something else from the first moments of wearing this thing as you can see this is not a really lock in place type of uh, situation here for the straps uh, this thing is more like an uh, put it on your back and adjust it almost always when you wear it because it doesn't lock 
almost at all. Even sitting here in the car, it became something like this by itself. I prefer the types of uh, lock-in-place straps because I don't. Yeah, I'm. This is w what I like. Uh, I'm. I'm a bit more strict with stuff like this. I. I set it and forget it. Not always set it and whatnot. Whatever. Depends on what you like, but I don't. Okay, been using this thing for a few months already. Uh, I must say it does scratch as I was expecting, but it's a bit weird. So one scratch appears, another one buffs out from uh, wearing it. Uh, so this doesn't seem to be affected yet all the reflector uh, paint maybe just a tiny bit in uh, in an area but yeah nothing special so is this a, a good choice of material i genuinely don't know it's not as bad as i thought that's for clear is it great maybe not great if you want a spotless uh, backpack this will never be spotless. You will al always have tiny scratches on it, but it doesn't scratch as bad as I expected and it doesn't look as bad as I expected in time. So yeah, it's a bit dirty. I, I'm using it uh, while working on the house. Uh, so it sees a bit of wear and tear, even food inside of it, documents. The, the 15 inch laptop, it's a bit on the big side for this, but I can still use it with that, so it's doable. Uh, these things that I, I I said they are annoying, I started to get used to adjusting them every single time I, t I take this on my back. So, are they that bad? Ah, no, I don't think they are that bad. It, I was just not used to this. I still prefer the set and forget type but for that you need to have a setting for summer a setting for winter because you have thicker clothes this you adjust it perfectly but never mind the clothes that you have on so yeah it's a matter of preference so overall am i happy that i bought this yep i use this thing all the time now so 100 percent uh, happy that i got it i don't even know if i showed you the brand of it Top move seems to be the brand. If you want to see a ah, camera focus, please. Any infos? In theory, maximum eight kilos you can take in it. I just throw stuff in it. Uh, I think the volume will be the limiting factor b before the weight is a limiting factor in this thing. So yeah, that's that. If you have any other questions that I didn't uh, answer yet in this video, feel free to ask me. Uh, the stitching seemed to be holding up just good. Zero issues that I wasn't expecting. So that's that's good. If you have again other questions, feel free to ask in the comments. In my opinion, a decent buy, decent price for what it is. Uh, yeah, didn't test uh, that. Uh, fancy thing uh, yet to see if it actually blocks anything because I don't carry my card in there yeah I have a wallet for that anyway so that's about that hope this video helps you in which case please give it a like check out my other videos and as always see you in the next one bye yeah ah kids fun and joy <laughs> You will uh, learn if you don't have any kids yet. You will see. <laughs> and who has kids? Yep, you know what it's about. Bye.